folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Well, snuck one in on you. This is the Fly Fans SU27 uh, Flank Earth. The, it's in the uh, Iran, or no, the Ukraine livery. And uh, I just like the looks of this one better. I'm hoping this digital camo doesn't disappear in this sky. Um, the build was okay. Um, the, the design of the plane looks great. She, she went together okay. Didn't really have any issues other than what the real drawback of this plane is the wiring they use and the linkages, the, the ball stop, the uh, um, ball links and everything. They're cheap and you have to be very careful with them. I broke the two on the elevator and had to put direct screws in in order to have a working elevator. But, and the instructions are less than good. Uh, so basically, plane looks great. Hopefully she flies as well as she looked because the build quality of the plane, the quality of the components seem like a high-end dynam, if that tells you anything. So right, left, up, down, right, right, left. All right, we're going to be flying in my mid-rates. Mid-rates right now for me are going to be 85 with 30% percent expo. All the way around, time reset for three and a half minutes. But like I say, this is the maiden. She does not have flaps. So she's a high alpha lander. So now if I get used to this plane and I really like the way she flies, then I'll go with uh, probably move her to a Taylor-on configuration and maybe even do uh, um, flapperons but we shall see here we go Gear up. time remaining Good flyer. Good flyer. Gonna go straight up with her. Yeah. Gear down. Good flyer. She's need a little bit of up trim, and that was pretty much it. All right. Yeah, you're going to want to bring her in. Don't get her too slow, because she will drop a wing. So you're definitely going to want a higher angle of attack on your landing. Let's try her again. We're going to go with high rates this time and see if I like that better. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's got no kind of gyro or stabilization of any type. Just an AR620. Go back to mid rates. Gear down. I'm gonna try a lander from the west this time. And make sure my gear is down. Time remaining, one minute. Ah, I'm too high. When you goose her, she will climb suddenly. Thirty seconds. 
Well, she definitely carries her speed, that's for sure. Oh, sm I smacked her down. But the nose is still on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, yeah. 1. This is definitely one I'm going to have to do some practice on. And I think I need to move that battery a little far further forward. All right. Let me show you. We flew for a full, full three and a half minutes. Um, show you real quick what I was talking about as far as the uh, these clevises on this elevator. The ball link on this one just snapped off, and the clevis, the neck of the ball link clevis, just broke in half, just popping them in. So I had to drill out those, take those ball links out, put new, new clevis over here, use the existing clevis here, and put screws in in order to uh, get a working elevator. Now, the CG on this is 145 back from the leading edge root. Not the edge, but the root. That's where the wing touches the fuselage. And that's right there. That's what those black marks are. I've got a 3600 6S in there. Let me put the gear up. Well, let me get the hand, my hand out of the way. Put the gear up. Okay. And, and I've heard so much controversy back and forth. CG with gear up, CG with the gear down. So I try to do both. Just want to be a little bit nose heavy with the gear up which I'd rather it rock more back. Let's put the gear down, let's see how she does. Still a little nose heavy, so I actually can put the battery back just a touch. But let me show you where I got the battery. Right there, that where I have the 3600. What I could do is keep the battery in the same spot, but maybe use a little bit bigger of a battery. Next flight will be with a 4000 and see if that doesn't work. XT90 connector and my AR620 is shoved up inside there. Tongue and groove, strong magnet, and this front hatch here, I guess you could run extensions and put your receiver up here, but there's really no reason to. That's just held on by magnets. Might put a GPS in there or something. All right, folks, well, that's the maiden flight of the X, or the fly fans. SU-27 Russian jet. Or well, this one is the uh, uh, Ukraine. So, all right. God bless y'all. Don't forget, pay family and friends in jets. Bye.